Hello all. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, an encryption um, file system that's been used in Linux, Unix environments for quite some time. And uh, there's a port uh, that you can use for Windows. <coughs> the install this installation is a little tricky, but it's, it's not too bad and it's free. And you can have any size you want, depending on your um, how much hard drive you space space you have. So it's uh, ENC for encryption file system and it says Windows well, let's just type in port because that's the first result I get. It links to this page which I'll put in the description and all you need to download is the encryption file system zip file and then the Dokkan library Point six. It says to use point six. So we go to download. Down and it says Dokkan library, and not the source, but the one just the first one, released on 2011.01.10. So we'll just uh, select that, which is uh, executable. Wait, that. Wait, just uh, okay. We're done. Close. Now, go to downloads. And first thing we we'll do is we'll install this Dokkan. Accept the administrator prompt. Say I agree. Uh, times 86. Times that's fine. It'll it'll automatically uh, detect if you're running 32-bit or 64. So install. And done. It's fine. And it shows you where it is in the program files. So close that. Now the encrypted file system we just downloaded. Just uh, whatever archive we're using. I'm just going to take this and drag it into downloads. Or you can put it anywhere you want. Maybe you know in, into your documents or maybe on the uh, C drive. But just for now, just keep it here. The one we want is ENCFSW or for Windows. Uh, Oops, wrong. So this one, E N C F S W, just to be sure. Don't delete any of these files, by the way, or, or don't move them to uh, encryption folder. So anyway, we'll leave that for now, because we have to make some room on the computer. Since this is a virtual machine, I, I'm kind of limited. So anyway, um, you go to computer and start menu and select this manage wait for that to open up go down to storage disk management <clears throat> excuse me and again I only have one drive on here allocated so what we want to do is click on whatever you have like if you have other disks you can use it go ahead but the idea is to shrink the volume so shrink volume and this will take a bit of time on this. Hmm. It's thinking. There we go. I'm going to give it to five. Oops. <laughs> five um, gigabytes. So you say shrink. be there soon there it is so approximately five gigs okay it says unallocated space on the hard drive so again we right click new simple volume and you can assign a drive letter oh, let me go back make sure it's yep okay just double check that's fine I'm gonna select uh, fat32 should be okay and I'm gonna call it just simply files and you select next and then finish once it's done if you have autoplay on it'll pop up with a new thing do you want to look at this okay nothing in here okay so we're done so that's our new five gigabyte uh, partition on the hard drive and if you look in computer files now what I'm going to do before I open the encryption system is create a new folder inside here and call it private it can be anything you want just uh, j 
just for demonstration. Okay, now let's get to the encryption folder. Where is he? There he is here, this one. Now it doesn't look like it's anything. When you uh, double click or single click, depending on how you have your system set up, the only thing that happens is down here, this key, that's it. So you right click on that, create new, down to your new newly created uh, partition select private say okay uh, give it a drive letter X set paranoia mode so it'll ask you every time you uh, do any operations with this and then type in your password twice when you select okay give it some time and then Windows will pop up. Oops, sorry. There's the paranoid mode. Windows should pop up if you have autoplay on. Say, oh, I found a new drive letter. There it is, X, that we specified. So if you go to, com excuse me, go to computer. There's our files, and there's our virtual hard disk, which is exactly the same size as the files. Okay, so. In order to encrypt the files, we have to use this virtual one, the X drive that we created. So let's drag uh, some stuff. Be careful what you put in there. Don't put this in there. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, executable. Maybe the zip file. That's five. Hopefully that'll... Yep, that's fine. And save. You had... I don't know, documents. I only have a couple of things here. And I'll just drag them there. And now we have seven items in the X drive or drive X, virtual drive. Now, what's interesting is if you go to computer, files, the one, and the private folder, there, if you notice, they're all um, sort by type encrypted. Right, so the seven items we had, and then plus the encrypted uh, document. So if you go back to the key, uh, you can customize and unhide this, whatever you like. It is unmount. Now this takes a bit of time. What I would suggest, though, if you use this often, is go to preferences and say uh, launch at startup, and select OK. So you always have it there. Go to computer. Ah, it's gone. So there's no more X drive letter there. And you go to files, private, and oh, what's this? Hmm. Let's open this with notepad. Oh, doesn't mean anything to me. So that's it. Your files are encrypted. It's on your system. It's on a separate partition. And only you know the password and uh, you know the key, as they say. <laughs> right. Um, you can exit this, you know, and uh, always go back to wherever you have it and launch it again. Just don't delete any of these files. Um, maybe put them on another part, you know, other than downloads. Put them somewhere else. But just don't delete them. Okay, so I think that's about it. Uh, if you're fairly familiar with Windows and not too squeamish about some programs like the these are all harmless and you know you found a way to uh, a good encryption system that's free and it the it only depends on how much hard drive space you have on what you want to encrypt and i'm not sure if it works with dropbox i imagine it would or, or another one yeah i guess you take the folder your private folder and upload it and as long as you have the key uh you can uh get your files back so anyway, um, thanks so much for watching as always and uh, have any questions just or comments, just uh, feel free to uh, put them in and uh, that's it. And Have a good one and bye for now. Take care.